prepare for this examination gate architecture 2023 so uh, i broadly can categorize the reasons for preparation or the reasons you should appear for this examination it can be broadly classified into two categories the first one is you to get a specialization after your bachelor's either in architecture or planning so if you have done your BARC bachelor's in architecture or BTech in civil or B plan these three specializations if you have already done and you're aspiring to enter into the field of architecture or planning or construction in that case you need a specialization so if that is one motive so that is one category of reasons specializations to get a, a core area under your degree and second jobs uh, it, it could be private and government so let us also discuss some points about the job sector jobs part of it so firstly let me focus on the specialization part I hope everyone knows gate score is used for your admission into masters and PhD so if uh, for whom is specialization firstly important it can be a broad it can broadly be categorized into two or three points firstly for those who want to enter into the field of teaching if you are planning to enter into teaching sector if you are aspiring to be a professor or teach, uh, want to teach in government universities, I hope you know it is compulsory to have PhD for teaching in IITs and to teach in other architecture state level colleges, masters is compulsory. Without masters, you cannot directly enter into the field of teaching or even if you enter, it would not be a, a growth oriented uh, career for you without masters. So to have your masters or to enter into the field of teaching it is compulsory to have a specialization that is one particular reason why you should appear for gate and write get into the best colleges for your masters and then you can pursue your phd and enter into the teaching sector that's one uh, aspect under uh, that's one reason under the group of specialization why specialization is important uh, for teaching sector secondly if you want to enter into the field of research if you are interested in PhD or want to pursue your postdoc as well in foreign universities or within India for research oriented career also it is compulsory to have a specialization without specialization just with bachelors you cannot progress in the direction of research so if you have a thought process to enter into the research field or teaching field specialization is mandatory for which gate score and gate performance is very important so that could be so uh, basically before you take this decision of preparing for gate exam or uh, writing the examination applying for the examination you have to go through this thought process what is it that you want down the lane 10 years 15 years what is that you are expecting so teaching uh, or research and also if you want to enter into specialized sectors like so that's the third reason specialized sectors for example if you want to after your bachelor's in architecture you want to enter into the field of say designing you want to enter into ui ux design or product designing obviously you have to do your master's m design and doing it from best colleges that is iits would be preferable so with gate score you can also pursue your m design in iit kanpur you can also get into m design at iisc bangalore uh, so uh, iits and iscs a few i not all uh, generally few, uh, the other iits take admissions to m design through uh, seed examination so be it seed or gate you basically need to prepare for these examinations if you want your specialization and enter into specialized sectors not only design even if you aspire to be a construction manager or if you want if you are interested in construction finance or want to enter into the management sector of construction or within architecture uh, business administration if you want to enter into that sector of uh, construction now you have your bachelor's in architecture or b-tech in civil so your bachelor's is already in the core subject now if you have a management uh, degree you can so that is specialization basically if you want to uh, move towards the management direction you need to have a construction management project management or construction finance based degrees building engineering management is one such degree from spa you have construction management in iits and nits so you can pursue that so if you want to enter into a specialized sector or want a career in a specialized sector then you have to pursue your masters and appear for gate exam for that purpose so these are the reasons or these are the group of points which can be categorized under specialization so uh, again quickly to summarize if you want to pursue your phd or want to enter into research field or want a career in teaching or if you want to enter into specialized sectors it is important that you have a master's degree in that particular sector 
if you want to become a conservation architect obviously you have to do your masters in conservation and for that gate score is required so to enter into specialized sectors to enter into research you have to have masters in that area of your interest for which you need to appear for gate exam that is one group of reasons coming to the second part many students also prepare for gate exam for this reason or uh, that is jobs uh, first and foremost <coughs> in uh, with gate score directly now within jobs there are two categories within government jobs there are two categories in which gate score or gate preparation will be helping you first is you will have direct requirement into psu sometimes through gate score public sector undertakings like in 2018 there was requirement in airport authority of india through gate score directly without any interview without any further examination directly based on gate score just based on your gate rank or gate score you can directly get into public sector undertakings psus like airport authority of india that was the last PSU which recruited architects through gate architecture examination but that was only in 2018 now you don't know that if you get PSU each and every year that is known only after the examination and the result you cannot expect it right away from the beginning so the number of PSU openings would be very low but it is one option available so uh, if you keep attempting your gate examination even if even if you are uh, there are many students who uh, keep attempting the examination to get a, a perfection in their uh, knowledge with respect to architecture and planning as well so it will help you in the public sector undertakings direct requirement process but it will also so this is an active outcome of gate examination but there's also a passive outcome of gate preparation and gate examination that is preparing for the alternative other government jobs other government jobs so uh, there are a lot of openings in fact we also keep updating all the openings of government jobs on our portal so you can log on to mentorgate.com our website for career avenues mentorgate.com when you log on to this website mentorgate.com uh, or just search for mentorgate on the search engine on google you will directly get the career avenues website uh, once you log on to that website you will find a tab by name government jobs or job section so if you click on that you will find the complete list of other government jobs which are recently uh, uh, which are recently published in notification from various government agencies across india and state public service commissions so uh, key be updated with the openings across the country there are a lot of government jobs which keep coming each and every month for that matter in the field of architecture and planning so if you look into the syllabus of all these examinations all the other government jobs also conduct their own examination for the requirement if you go through the syllabus for all these examinations like right, recently Telangana Public Service Commission has published a notification for 175 openings. So that is a recent example. Few months ago, there was Delhi Development Authority's examination for uh, the requirement of planning assistant. So for all these examinations, if you look into the syllabus, it is a subset of GATE syllabus itself. If you are preparing for GATE, the syllabus of gate is like the umbrella under which you have all these minor examinations and government jobs so even if not completely there will be a huge overlap of the syllabus so preparing for gate examination so if you're applying with your seriousness if you're dedicating the remaining four five months for your preparation of gate examination that will not only be helpful for you uh, even if you're not targeting for a uh, specialization for teaching or something it will really be helpful the dedication you put into in the next few months for the preparation of the gate exam will be very useful for your future examinations which you will be writing till the age limit is required so generally in government jobs the age limit is still 35 some cases like in Telangana Public Service Commission the age limit is 44 so for the next few years few couple of years you will might be pursuing for government jobs and the preparation which you're having at this point of time will absolutely be useful for all those government jobs as well so these are some broad reasons because of which you should have seriousness so don't just apply for the examination just because people are applying think about what you want from it think in these directions what is that you want jobs or specialization and considering all these benefits 
you should not only apply but you should dedicate your time and prepare for the examination with seriousness and total number of students who apply for gate exam if you look into last few years gate architecture and planning almost 10,000 people apply and only rank below 100 get into IITs so that's really a small percentage of people out of the people who are applying just one percent so to be in that top one person to get into that double digit rank obviously it takes a lot of dedication and hard work if you uh, so prepare a study plan we, we keep following on this youtube channel we also provide guidance sessions on how to prepare for the examination what are the important points to be considered in the preparation in fact you can also check our website mentogate.com where you have demo lectures of our, of our lectures the classes you can also have a look at them to gain your knowledge in a better manner and align your studies preparation for the gate examination i hope this was informative for you please do subscribe to this youtube channel and we will be providing many more guidance sessions on this youtube channel uh, in this run, run uh, uh, moving ahead for the gate examination of 2023 thank you everyone